Let's learn about profit and loss. These words are mainly used in businesses. That's where we typically hear it. Now let's look at this picture. This is a picture of a vegetable seller. This is a shop owner who is selling vegetables. So what happens is shop owners buy vegetables from farmers and then they sell that to us. Now suppose that this shop owner buys some vegetables for 100 rupees from a farmer and then he sells the same vegetable to you for 120 rupees. So the cost at which he buys the vegetables is called as cost price or in short CP. And the cost at which he sells the vegetables to us or to any customer it's called as selling price or SP. So CP cost price is the price at which anybody buys something and selling price SP is the price at which anybody sells something. So what is profit here? Profit is if you get more money than you spend then you say that you had a profit. So in this case, if the shop owner buys the vegetables for 100 rupees and sells it for 120 rupees, he sold it for more money than he spent because he spent 100 rupees and he sold it for 120 rupees. So he got 20 rupees more. When you get more money than you spend, you have a profit. What if he had bought the vegetables for 100 rupees but sold it for 90 rupees? Say the vegetables have gone bad. That's why he had to sell it for less price. So the vegetables that he bought for 100 rupees, the cost price was 100 rupees, that he sold for 90 rupees. That means the selling price, SP, is 90 rupees. In this case, we say, that the shop owner incurred a loss. That means he had a loss. He lost money. So loss is something where you get less money than you spent. This is true for any business, not just for a vegetable seller, but for any shop owner or for any other businesses. If you get less money than you spent, then you incur a loss. If you get more money than you spend, then you get a profit. So the terms, the words we learned here are cost price CP and selling price SP. So in the first example, CP was 100 rupees and SP was 120 rupees because SP, that means selling price, was higher than CP. We had 20 rupees of profit. Let's try to put this in a formula. If SP is greater than CP, see the symbol I have used here is for greater than. Do you remember the less than, greater than symbols? This is how you can remember it. The side on which the arms are spread out, that side is bigger. And the side where the arms come together to a point that is a smaller side. That means in this case, SP is bigger and CP is smaller. So the formula is like this. If SP is bigger than CP, then it is profit and profit equals SP minus CP. The other example we saw was like this. CP was 100 rupees, that means cost price and SP selling price was 90 rupees. Therefore, there was loss of 10 rupees. So if you want to write this, if you want to represent this in a formula like fashion, you can write like this. If SP is smaller than CP, that means selling price is smaller than cost price. Now you know how to read the sign. Then it is a loss and loss equals CP minus SP. Every time you subtract the smaller number from the 
bigger number but just understand that if cost price is smaller then it is profit and if cost price is bigger then it is loss so let's solve some practice problems here we will we have cp which is cost price that means the price at which you buy we have selling price which is sp that means the price at which you sell and based on that we will figure out if it is a profit or loss and how much so if the cost price is 500 that means the price at which you buy and selling price is 400 then it's a loss and how much is the loss 500 minus 400 that means 100 rupees of loss the next one is CP equals 300 and SP equals 380. That means you are selling at a higher price. So it's a profit. 380 minus 300 equals 80. So this is 80 rupees of profit. The next one is cost price is 1000 rupees and selling price is 800 rupees. That means it costed more than the selling price. So, this is an example of loss. How much is the loss? 1000 minus 800 equals 200. So, this is 200 rupees of loss.